Kenny was born, he was the most beautiful little boy you've ever seen in your life. He smiled almost from the get-go. He was just a precious little bundle. Hi, my name is Gavin and I'm eight. I am Ryan and I am 10 years old. I'm Will and I'm 12. My name is Chase Crochet and I am 23 years old. I'm Scott Brown and I'm 25 years old. My name is Jeff Brown. I just turned, turned 28. Both of our boys, when they were born, they were healthy, normal. And it took five years to be diagnosed with Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. I mean, we thought everything was fine. It was just maybe he had some allergies. There was just different things that the doctor was talking about it could be. So a couple days later, I get a phone call. Neurologist sat us down and basically said, this came back on the blood test. Your son has the worst form of muscular dystrophy there is. There's nothing you can do about it. There's no treatment. By age 10, he'll be in a wheelchair and he probably won't live past 18. Dishen is when your muscles get weak. I can't w walk long distances. Dishen is a, a neuro neuromuscular disease that results in progressive uh, muscle uh, loss. And they're both on ventilators 24 hours a day. Everybody has their ambitions of he's going to be a professional football player or soccer player. That all went away. Just like that. I can't imagine when they are gone. And I know it's going to be soon. I don't know what destiny is there for him, for us, but I just hope the best for him, for his life. Keep seeing the smile on his face and makes my day go by. That's it. My biggest fear is that other parents will have to go through, other families will have to go through the same thing we would. It was time to go to bed, we were putting him to bed, and he all of a sudden thought he couldn't breathe. I can't breathe, I'm having a hard time breathing, Mom. I can't breathe, and he said, Mom, you need to call the paramedics. Get to the hospital, and um, he coded. He was crashing, and some of his last words to us were, don't miss me too much, but remember me forever. I don't like having it. All the things that it does to me and stuff. They say there's not enough reason. Gavin is part of the 13% of children living with Duchenne who this clinical drug trial will help. The other children the 87% that don't fall into that. There is nothing for them. I would tell um, people out in the community that they seem to be really close at finding a cure for this disease. We just need to keep forging forward. And, you know, with Cure Duchenne, they get it done. If the trials are able to go out, you can cure this horrible, horrible disease. I'm in a child, so I have to go to Long Beach every week and get the medicine. We all noticed was that his energy level just shot up. Since I've been taking the medicine, I've been able to walk a little farther and like one little farther. He couldn't even hold up a bike, let alone ride a bike. And after about a year in this clinical drug trial, he was able to ride a bike, a two-wheel bike, that he still can to this day. Cure Duchenne. It's a wonderful organization that is actually funding research. It's a miracle. I still feel like, I mean, it's just such a miracle that we got him in an actual trial that they're, you know, we're on the cusp right now. We're actually on the cusp of a therapy. I get the medicine 
I feel better. We need something now. We need, we need more funding. We need to continue on. There's, there are so many children that need help. We gotta make it happen. Um, unfortunately, it's too late for my son, but it isn't too late for the rest of the boys. And they are so close to finding a cure. They're in human trials. We have come this far and we've come so close that this is the time when we need the help the most. It's urgent that people help now to save this generation of boys. Action! All of our boys deserve a chance to ride a bike. To follow them up. A chance to have a normal life. Playing with my friends. To experience life. To play football. To live their lives. To preserve the happiness of me and others. We are so close. We are so close. We are so close to finding a cure. Will you help? Will you help cure Duchenne? Will you help cure Duchenne, Will you help cure Duchenne now? Together, we can do this.